you have calculated the that there's only correct me if I'm wrong, a zero point zero zero five percent chance this object is natural. How do you arrive at that number? And what does it mean for the way we interpret its presence here? Yeah, so this is the probability, the one that you mentioned, the probability of it passing so close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. It's one in 20,000. Um, and for that, we just took the trajectory that uh, it has and randomly uh, allowed for the arrival time to be any value. Uh, so in other words, if you don't even ask the question of why is it aligned with the plane uh, the ecliptic lane of, of, of the planets. You just forget about that. You say, okay, let's adapt this trajectory. And the only thing we change is the arrival time. Then only one out of 20,000 arrival times will bring it as close as it, it does come to, to, the, to these three planets. And that means that there might have been some thought given to the trajectory so as to maximize uh, the amount of information it can get from these various planets, or perhaps to deposit some mini probes into them. And I had a meeting with the, the Galileo project the team, research team, today. That's the project I'm leading. Enjoy the full interview at veritasproject.com.